For Comedy Hive News, I'm John Alba. A set from up-and-coming comedian David Lucas is making its rounds on the internet for all the wrong reasons. While performing at the Funny Bone Comedy Club in Manchester, Connecticut, the comedian will call several black audience members to walk out of the show after attempting to make jokes about the death of George Floyd back in 2020. The stand-up show would begin to go off the rails after a heckler referred to Lucas as Titty Man, which led to a back and forth between Lucas and the heckler. After the heckler refused to join Lucas on stage to engage in a roast battle, he would say this to anger some of the black audiences in the crowd. Nigga try to ruin the whole show, man. All these fucking good ass white people at my show. And you wanted to show them the reason George Floyd got his neck nailed on. It's just a joke, man. I would have never kneeled on George Floyd's neck. I would have shot that nigga. That was. That joke would lead several black audience members to begin excusing themselves from the show because they thought Lucas' jokes went too far. Now later in the video, Lucas would double down by saying, I like Kyle Rittenhouse too, while they were leaving. After the set made its way online, several comedians and entertainers have weighed in on the situation, bringing up the question if comedians should police other comedians. Dio Hughley would repost a portion of the set on his Instagram and with the caption, comedy and stupidity are not the same. You can argue that nothing is off limits in comedy, but the great philosopher Mike Tyson said, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Several other notable comedians and celebrities would join in on the conversation. Holly Robinson Pete would write, he was just trying way too hard. What's next, George Zimmerman for president jokes? I mean, come on, know your audience. I would have been gone. Naeem Lynn of the Plastic Cup Boys will also add, I was more triggered at the white people enjoying the joke than the joke itself. Several others would agree with Lynn's comment while comedian Damon Williams will echo a similar opinion by saying it's clear that Lucas is catering to a specific demographic. He would share, he will now be booked heavier by MAGA. That Kyle Rittenhouse line went way too hard to please the white folk. Now, comedian Ari Spears, known for his dark sense of humor, would dive into the conversation by commenting, my man even doubled down with Kyle Rittenhouse. Not only that, but Spears would engage in a back and forth of his own with a few social media users in the comments. One user would say, that's shock value, wasn't funny or anything. I could do that. But I noticed that no one will make a 9-11 or Holocaust jokes. Anyone can make black jokes. That's not brave. Spears response, you're absolutely wrong. The art form is subjective. No one's opinions holds reign over anything. That's why it's an opinion. And I've seen plenty of comics do 9-11 jokes and Holocaust jokes. I was one of them. Now in response to all the controversy on his own Instagram page, Lucas would simply share a photo of himself with Fish while promoting his next comedy shows. The caption will go on to read, getting canceled ain't that bad. Uncancelable drops March the 6th. Ironically enough, the post was supported by Republican media personality Tommy Lauren, who would say, keep on. In addition to that, Lucas would share another photo of himself posing with two WWE championship belts saying, Welcome all my new fans and supporters. Make comedy great again. Comedians telling other comedians what they can't say on stage is always a slippery slope. So what do you guys think? And did David Lucas take it too far when it comes to telling this joke? Or is nothing off limits in comedy? Let us know in the comments below and stay up to date for the latest news in comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel. Plus head over to thehypemarket.com to check out some cool and original merchandise. And for our YouTube viewers, if you enjoyed this story, send us a super thanks by hitting the button below and you can tip us what you want to show your support. For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Alba. All right, so y'all remember that national talent search that we did looking for a new co-host to join me in studio in Atlanta, Georgia, where after going through hundreds of people, I'm happy to say that we found our guy. Oh, you talking to me? I mean. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's your boy, Lester Green, and I'm bringing that energy. And Symphony, I'm not your co-host. I'm your hype man. Okay, well, I'm loving that. And y'all can get hype with us every Friday right here on the Company Hype News Show. Cause we're making it late night. We doing late night? It's late night and it feels so right. <laughs> we doing late night. <laughs>